Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about some transformer equations, guys. So put down today's title, it's going to be Transformer Equations. Okay, so before we start, guys, let's have a quick recap on stuff that we should know before starting this lesson. So over here, we have our transformer. We have the giant iron core. We have cores wrapped around the first terminal and cores wrapped around the second terminal. The first side is going to be called the primary coil. The second side is going to be called the secondary coil. Make sure you've watched my other video about transformers before watching this one, because that one, I explain how it works. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk about the formulas we can use when discussing them. Right, so there are two types of transformers, guys. We have a step-up transformer and a step-down transformer. A step-up transformer increases the voltage, so it steps up the voltage. A step-down transformer reduces the voltage. And look, I have a step-up and step-down transformer here. We can check which one is which by simply looking at them. So it's about the number of coils around the primary and secondary. Right, so clearly you can see in the first one, there are more coils on the secondary than the primary. Therefore, it's a step-up transformer. So this one is a step-up transformer. So this one is a step-up transformer. Why? There are more coils in the secondary than the primary. And the other one, it will be a step-down transformer because there are less coils in the secondary compared to the primary. So this one will be a step-down transformer. Happy with this? So we've got a step-up transformer and a step-down transformer. You can check which one is which simply by looking at the number of coils upon each one. All right, so what about an equation? Before we start, let's define a couple of things here. Let's say the voltage into the primary will be denoted by VP. The number of turns in the primary, we can call that NP. So the number of turns will be called NP. The voltage in the secondary, let's call that VS, the voltage in secondary. The number of turns on the secondary will be NS, okay? And don't forget, the number of turns just simply means how many coils. So the number of turns simply means how many coils. So in this example here, we can know that VP for this example, the voltage in the primary is 10 volts. Go in. We can see that going in. The voltage in the secondary will be 100 volts. The number of turns in the primary, in the first one, I'm just counting there. How many of them do I have? I've got three, so it'll be three over here. What about the number of turns in the secondary? We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. It will be six over here. Right. Well, there's an equation which relates them all together. It's going to be the following. VP over VS is equal to NP over NS. So VP over NS is equal to NP over NS, guys. Right, that's our formula, guys. You're going to be given that in the GCSE. You're not required to memorize it, so don't worry about it. But you will be required to take it and rearrange it to make one of them the subject of the formula and plug in your values. So let's have a crack at it, guys. So we can use this. If, we want, if we're given three unknowns, we, we want to find out one of them, we can use this equation, guys, to work out the answer. Let's practice with the following example. Let's start with this one. Okay, so here's the problem. A step-down transformer has 300 turns in the primary and 25 on the secondary. If the input voltage is 230 volts, what is the output PD? Right, so the first thing you should do is identify which one is which. Right, so the number of turns in the primary, that will be 300. This will be NP, because that's going to be 300 turns in the primary. The secondary, there we go, it's there, 25. So it's going to be NS. We now have the number of turns in the secondary. The input, this one over here, is 230. So this one will be VP, okay? So the question's asking you, what is the output, which is VS? We're trying to find VS. So let's rearrange the formula. So we have VP over Vs is equal to Np over Ns. Wonderful. You want to find out Vs, so let's rearrange that formula. So making that the subject, I'm going to move the Ns up, the Np down, and the Vs up, cross multiply. We end up with Vs is equal to Vp times by Ns divided by Np. Okay with that? Yes, Vs is equal to Vp times by Ns divided by Np. Check your algebra, guys. Right, from here, let's plug in our value. So VP is going to be voltage in the primary, 230 volts. Times by the number of turns in the secondary, it's going to be 25. Uh, divided by the number of turns in the primary, it's going to be 300 turns here. Right, and plugging it into a calculator, we end up with the following. So it's going to be, I'm getting the VS will be equal to 
19.2 volts. Okay, and that's our answer here. Easy stuff. So that's one example done. Make sure you spend the time learning how to rearrange that equation. You have to cross multiply and use your math skills to help you here. And that makes sense now because it's a step down transformer. Because 230 volts goes in and the voltage coming out is lower. So that makes sense. Okay, what about the next formula? The next formula is going to be the following. Okay, so here we have our transformer once again. But now let's talk about the power going into one side and the power going out. Well, for any single device, the total power going in should be equal to the total power coming out. So let's put that down. So the power in the primary is equal to the power in the secondary. We also have another formula for power. We should remember from the GCSE that power is equal to the current times by the voltage. So power is equal to current times by voltage. So we can replace the formula with these, with the current and voltage. So the power in the primary, we can call that the current in the primary times by the voltage in the primary will be equal to the current in the secondary times by the voltage in the secondary. Here we go, over here. So we end up with this. And let's define them if you've forgotten. Okay, so just I've put them down on the side here so you can see that IP is current in the primary, VP is the voltage in the primary, IS is the current in the secondary, and VS is the voltage in the secondary. So that's our other formula, guys. You're going to be given this one as well. So we've got two formulas now for the transformer. One of them is going to be VP over VS is equal to NP over NS. And the other formula is going to be IP times by VP is equal to IS times by VS. Yes, yes. Okay, right. From here, guys, uh, let's do one example to test our understanding using this power formula. Let's go. All right, so what about this? A transformer has 1000 volts in the primary coil and a current of 0.5 amps flowing through it. The secondary coil has 0.01 amps. What is the voltage in the secondary coil? What is the voltage in the secondary coil? Step number one, write down the formula. It's going to be IP times by VP is equal to IS times by VS. Easy stuff. Okay, so first of all, identify what you've been given. A thousand volts that corresponds to VP. Yeah, and we've got 0.5 amps that corresponds to IP. Yes, that's the current in the primary. Because it tells you the current in the primary. Then the secondary core has a current of this one. So this is going to be IS, current in the secondary. What is the voltage in the secondary coil, guys? So what is the voltage in the secondary coil? Well, we can do it now. So let's rearrange that formula to make VS the subject. VS will be equal to IP times by VP divided by IS. There we go. So IP, current in the primary, we said that was going to be 0.5 amps times by the voltage in the primary, 1,000 volts divided by the current in the secondary, 0.01 amps over here. Okay? And then plugging it all in, guys, let's see what we get. I'm getting 5,000 volts, guys. We're getting 5,000 volts. Okay? So another lesson done, guys. In this lesson, we talked about the two formulas which are used in transformers, and we did two examples using that formula. Make sure you use your math skills to enable you to rearrange that formula with speed. Therefore, you save time in the exam. So a quick recap from the top. We know that for a transformer, there's a formula relating the voltage and the number of turns. VP over VS is equal to NP over NS. And the next one, it's going to be IP times by VP is equal to IS times by VS. Wonderful stuff, guys. Right, I shall see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to my videos. Keep me going, guys. Ciao, ciao. Good luck and transform your grades. Goodbye.